The boost from the tariff delay not filling every trader with a sense of hope. We're seeing that certainly today in markets. Peter Cheer, head of macro strategy at Academy Securities, writing in a note, quote, I would fade this current rally in stocks and credit to a meaningful uh, size. Delayed tariffs are good. I don't think it changes the complexion of the negotiations that much. Peter joining us now over the phone. Peter, you certainly a lot of people agree with you based on the price action today. Why was your knee jerk reaction fade this rally? I think, once again, we're creating so much confusion and doubt, both in probably the consumer, but even at the corporate level, that delaying these tariffs isn't going to really help that much. And then two other things really caught my eye. One is what's happening in Argentina. It shows how fast risk can happen. We're seeing that in little bits of the corporate bond market as well, where you're seeing troubled companies see their bonds drop significantly. I don't like that. And I also don't like the fact that what's going on in Hong Kong may give the president a opportunity to up the ante against China again. And so we may have pulled back last yesterday. We might go with new tariffs next week for all we know. So I'm keeping a very close eye on Hong Kong as well. Okay, there's a lot there, and I want to tease this out a little bit. Let's start with credit markets and sort of the potholes that you're talking about, the idea that we are seeing prices plummet on specific troubled credit. That said, on an overall basis, there is not an alarm signal coming from credit with spreads still, uh, still relatively tight. How do you sort of square that with the recession signals that we're seeing in yield curves? You know, I think the recession signals and yield curves might be a bit overdone, but for the first time I've kind of turned bearish on credit for a little bit. I think we should see a little bit of spread widening given the economic backdrop. And also at all-in yields being so low, it typically sees some pressure on credit spreads. So I think you're going to see that. You may also see a lot of issuance, which also tends to put pressure on because companies do want to lock in these low all-in yields. So I'm a little bit bearish on credit, not majorly, but, you know, there. And I think that's, again, going to be another, you know, tough backdrop for equities to deal with. So how much... Uh do we fade this? In other words, what point do you say, all right, we've kind of outdone the uncertainty here and it's time to buy again? How, after how much of a decline? You know, I think uh, we probably head back to last Tuesday's low. So I think you could get back to, say, 2800 on the S&P. That's when I would maybe start thinking about getting bullish again, unless something else changes. Obviously, in this, you know, headline-driven world, something could change. But my base case right now is to get back to that 2800 level on the S&P.